well friends today i'm going to tell you some of the topics of neonates or the neonatology a neonate is said to be when a child is taken from birth to the 28 days the child is said to be term when if the baby is born from 37 to 42 weeks if if the child has taken birth before 37 weeks the child is said to be pre term baby and if it is greater than 42 weeks the child is said to be post term baby the normal birth weight in india is 2.5 to 3.99 kg and if the child is is having the birth weight less than 2.5 less than 2.5 kg is said to be low birth weight baby and if it is less than 1.5 kg said to be very low birth weight baby and if the weight is less than 1 kg it's said to be extreme low birth weight baby and what about if the child is having the weight greater than 4 kg this condition is known as macrosomia now the three things we are going to tell you what is SGA SGA means small for gestational age and it is very important AGA AGA means appropriate for that particular gestational age and LGA is for large for gestational age so in order to classify the child into SGA AGA LGA you should know the centile for that particular gestation age the centiles you should know the centile that is 10th centile and 19th centile you should know about it the chart is given in the books and you need to compare it if the weight of the baby is coming between 10th to 19th centile the child is said to be a g a means appropriate for that particular gestation age and if the weight of the baby is comes to be greater than that 19th centile the baby is said to be large for just that gestational age and if it is less than 10th centile it is small for that gestational age this can be explained for example a baby has taken birth at 40 weeks at 40 weeks the baby has taken birth so and the weight of the baby is around 3.2 kg so we know that for that it is a term baby and for term baby the 10th centile is 2.5 kg and 19th centile is 3.99 kg so it is coming under 10 to 19th centile so baby is said to be appropriate for that gestational age if the baby is found to be less than 2.5 kg the baby will come under SGA and if it is greater than 4 kg baby will be classified as LGA now you should know the gestational yeah you know the gestational age and you should know the 10th and 19th centile this is not possible so it's a graph is usually you have seen that particular gra uh, graph in words and on this x axis the gestational age is being plotted in that particular graph for example this is 36 37 38 39 and 40 here on this y-axis weight of the baby is being plotted for them 2 2.5 3 3.5 4 4.5 and here two lines are being drawn this line upper line is for 19th centile and this lower line is for the 10th centile there are the two curvy line legs you can see here and for example any baby <coughs> whatever the gestational age and whatever the weight is being 
and you know that and you put it in this graph and by that looking at that particular graph you can say whether the baby is under LGA, SGA or, S or AGA. For example, if baby has taken birth at 39 week and its weight is around 3 kg, so we can plot a graph like this, 39. So this graph is coming between these two lines, that is 10th centile and 19th centile. So the, whatever the baby are coming under this category are said to be AGA and if for example a baby is has taken birth at 40th 40th week 40th gestation week and the weight is around 4.5 kg so the graph will come like this actually i'm drawing it by the hand so baby the point will come over here so that particular weight baby will be lga and similarly a weight of around 2 kg weight at 38 gestational age and the baby will come here around it will be SGA so by looking at this graph you can say whether the baby is AGA LGA or SGA